So hi everybody, welcome to Five Mile Mark and our food for thought today borders on forgiveness. Forgiveness in relationships, whether it be intimate or, you know, family members, whatever it is. Anyway, so to tell you how all of this kicked off, you know, I was talking to a good friend of mine and we were talking about, you know, in particular relationships, you know, where you found someone cheating and how 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 you deal with all of that and whether forgiveness is measured and when i say measured i'll give you an example okay so you've discovered that your special someone is cheating on you okay they've decided to come and confess and discuss that with you and and they come and they tell you what happened where it happened how it happened even why it happened okay and they said that they're truly truly sorry and you know they pour their heart out and you're rocking back and you're saying mm mm-hmm 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 okay and then when they're done you still have this look on your face that says is that it so what am I leading to now so after you get the when and the way and the why and that kind of stuff knowing human beings as we are we want to know well with whom you know you give me half the story where's the rest of the story so the first part of this discussion is or this chat how important is the with whom to you does it really matter that you find out with whom? Or as far as you are telling yourself, well, if you want to give me part of the story, why not give me the whole story? So that's my take on it. You know, yours could be, well, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to leave that for you to think about. Now, the rest of it is the forgiveness part of it. How important is forgiveness for you as well as the other person is it measured I will forgive you if you give me the whole story I will forgive you if it is only the first time that ha this has happened or I will forgive you if I feel I could get past this if your excuse is good enough now we all know that they always say don't keep forgiveness in your heart. It stifles you. Um, forgiving the other person will set you free. But how many times do we say that forgiveness come with a condition? I will forgive you providing this is the last time, the first and the last time. Don't ever let it happen again. And so you still have this little shadow over it. And for the other person who needs that forgiveness, if they really care and if, if it is really of concern to them, it is important for them to have your forgiveness so that there's a sense of closure and that things could move on. And for those who have to forgive, it is not just a matter of uh, how you say being able to comfort the person by saying yes I forgive you you have to take everything into consideration why am I doing this is it gonna set my anger free on the inside um, my hurt my pain or is it important so that we can start afresh there's a fresh a level playing field how, how easy it is to say, yes, I forgive you and not have conditions attached to it. And those conditions sometimes determine whether you've gone past it or not. So should forgiveness have conditions? Um, is it normal that it will have conditions for us? Or how easy it is for us not to have conditions to forgiveness can we just wipe the slate clean and, and really move on but I think the bottom line is we all know that if we have anything within us anything within us that brings a certain amount of pain anger hurt a memory that we really do not want attached to our well-being we need to let it go that memory could be someone something a situation circumstances anything for that matter we need to let it go and so is forgiveness so whether you may think that yes it should have some conditions or whether you think that it need not have any conditions I think 
you would soon realize that anything that holds you back will continue to hold you back until you let it go. So thought for today, do you really think that forgiveness should have conditions? Is it a normal feeling for us to have conditions or do you really need to just let it go? But I'm not forgetting you on the first part of the discussion that we had. I'm also going to remind you to think about the rest of the story. So, so the part about the cheating and that the confessions that were made, the why, the when, the where, how important is it for you to know the who? So I'm leaving you with that to think about. Until the next time, have a good evening.